the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so hi everybody, it's Dara, and I am here with the one and only Dan the Man, the Life Regenerator. Many of you, say hi Dan. <laughs> hi Dan. Hi Dan. Uh, many of you know who he is, obviously. He's amazing. He's changing the lives of thousands and thousands of people all over the world. And a lot of you found me because of Dan, because three years ago we got together and made some videos. And I am forever grateful and thankful for your help and exposing me to so many beautiful lovelies. So Dan is visiting and he's about to show us something magical and I'm going to let him take over. So do your thing. Well, I just want to say, first of all, that I'm really glad that I introduced you to my people. Yeah. Uh, you are doing such a wonderful job at sharing you. your gifts with the world. And so, you know, I'm just glad that, uh, that you were able to do that and you're having so much fun. Yes. In fact, I've learned a whole bunch. Uh, since we've been hanging out about you know YouTube and some of the things she's doing and also it's nice to have someone who understands yeah. um, what this is like every day to make videos and yeah. you know some of what goes into being who you are you're very similar to me we're very similar in a lot of ways in the way we think in the way we need to be spontaneous with our videos the love and the heart that goes into it uh, the beauty, we love beauty, we love spontaneity, and it's an energy thing, really. It's, it's kind of, us. it's also a one-man show sometimes, like, <laughs> yeah. for the, we decided, you know, for the best to come through, not that we're not doing yeah. well now, but our best videos are when we're, like, on the solo mission. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of like, yeah, when inspiration strikes, we just turn on the camera, and yeah. then there's nobody else to, like, there's no energetic interference, be it good or not good. It's just this solo, beautiful thing so that we can connect with you as if you're right here. But, that, but everything is all beautiful energy, and now we're just like having a party here. You could see it's really festive, and I'm just so appreciative. I'm appreciative that I listened to my heart, that I drove up that time to go to your juice retreat and that we connected and that we and it sort of set you off in a trajectory i've been fortunate enough to do that for a lot of people yeah. so i call it putting them on the map or just uh you know just to help people it's like yeah. i've you been did. blessed you opened up the door with the network like, yeah and he opens up the door for people and then it just allows so many beautiful people to connect because of it so thank you so much dan you're amazing my pleasure He's amazing. i'm so, i'm glad that i get a he, chance he to walk, oh go ahead no you please he walks the talk he really is for real and i just want to say that in the three years since we've made a video you look even more gorgeous more healthy more grounded more beautiful and more fun to talk to well, that's a great way to start a video. Thank you, Dara. <laughs> so go ahead. I'm really stoked uh, that I'm going to, today I'm going to make yes, a gonna... recipe here for you that I, I sent to my um, Insiders Club this morning. This is a brand new recipe for me, and I've been juicing every day for 16 years. And I want to thank you so much for your time and attention. I wanted to just run through the whole thing. So I'm going to get the juicer started here real quick. But the story behind this is that yesterday I woke up and I was reading some of the uh, medical literature on the effects of the environmental toxins and pre-diabetes. Now there are millions and millions of people with pre-diabetes, millions of people with type 2, and then hundreds of thousands of people with uh, type 1. But suffice to say the environmental toxins are, um, you know, there are billions of pounds being dumped on us every year. So I woke up in the morning and I knew, I sort of prayed. I said, you know, I really need to find some green juice and I really need to uh, uh, drink some green juice and neutralize some of this stuff here that I'm absorbing while I'm in LA, the air and uh, whatnot. And so I went to the store and I was at Whole Foods and they had this amazing, they were juicing cilantro and it was just, it filled the air. And I never saw anything like it, a whole bucket of cilantro juice. And I thought to myself, I've never had a shot of cilantro. So I asked the guy to pour me one. I took a shot of cilantro and I said, hey, can I have like a 16 ounce jar of that thing? Well, I bought a 16 ounce jar and then I was like, and then I knew that was part of my uh, daily tonic to wash away these. Um, anyways, I'll start cutting the pineapple here, but uh, my... Um, idea to uh, detoxify some of this stuff to keep myself clean and so I bought the cilantro juice then I saw the pineapple juice and I bought 32 ounces of that and then I had some coconut water in the cooler in my truck and so I went outside played a little alchemy and came up with a brand new recipe so I'm glad that I get to share this with you today because I love helping people to 
stay healthy. I want to encourage the daily juicing habit. If you don't have a juicer, I encourage you to get one now. It's important in this day and age, and these herbs and these fruits and these vegetables can be and very, very beneficial as far as cleansing and energizing the body. So let me get started here um, on educating you on some of these things, on how I do this. So I wanted to take my time and show you. So first what I do is I cut the bottom of the pineapple off, then I cut the top off. I'm going to go along the edge here. Now you can do it, uh, you can cut this in half and make it a little easier. I can do the whole thing from top to bottom with uh, no problem at all. And I just go around, I try to keep as much of it as I can, but um, no big deal, you know. And uh, then I just take this green part off, and then I've got my, my pineapple all ready to rock here. And so I'm just going to cut that into spears. So what I'm aiming for in this juice, thanks Sarah, is uh, I, I'm aiming to get about equal parts. Now that's a lot of cilantro, but the reason why I went, I went 10 ounces of cilantro, 10 ounces of pineapple, and 10 ounces of or, uh, of coconut here. So it was a third, a third, a third. If you can't handle that much cilantro, uh, then you can cut that down. But the cilantro is particularly beneficial for the removal of heavy metals as a chelator. It's also helpful to deodorize the uh, GI tract, making it a little less um, likely to have proliferation of parasites or candida. It's the chlorophyll in these herbs that can really uh, neutralize a lot of the acid waste and bring in oxygen as well as an environment that is high in oxygen as well as chlorophyll so that these um, bacteria, viruses, yeast, and fungus don't proliferate. Most people are harboring uh, some you know, ecology in their GI tract and I've become kind of an expert over the years at food combining, food digestion, I do fasting, I do juice fasting, fruit diets, keeping things clean. So the cilantro is not only a blood purifier and a heavy metal chelator, but is also just extremely beneficial for neutralizing uh, odors so that the armpits don't smell and whatnot. So I want to encourage people to use herbs. This recipe, I will tell you, if you, with the cilantro, let me just get started here. Uh, how come this isn't working? Cool. Um, the, uh, the herbs are very useful for uh, enhancing the blood. And uh, so I'm encouraging everyone to consume a lot of um, herbs. And like I said, the parsley works well in this recipe if you don't like cilantro, because some people don't. So uh, I'm kind of long-winded, but I'm so excited uh, about sharing with you just some of the details so that you can have an education, so you can be inspired and understand why the cilantro is so beneficial and uh, why normally I, don't, I may, might use only one bundle. These are amazing bundles. Here's one bundle, and they're usually not this big. But I was like, I, yesterday I just crushed it. I drank 10 ounces of cilantro. Normally you put in, uh, you'll get maybe somewhere between four or six ounces from a normal size bundle. These are gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of um, cilantro, but it, the, the coconut and the pineapple makes it so that it's so f tasty. Unless you're one of the people, it's like, cilantro's a love-hate thing. I'm a lover. Like I said, the parsley works fine. It's not quite the heavy metal chelator, more of a kidney and a diuretic. But then again, that's why I mix it up. Parsley, bok choy, celery, uh, dill, cilantro, some of the more basic herbs. And there's millions of other herbs on the planet, dandelion and arugula, that you can use. Fennel is an amazing herb to bring in antioxidants, to bring in life force. The cilantro is very fresh, and I may not get to all of it, uh, but I'm, what I'm going to do here is see the pineapple's sort of starting to back up. Well, what I'll do is bring in some of the more fibrous, and that'll help move some of the pineapple through so that when I bring in another piece of pineapple, it starts to kind of get backed up here. This will move the pineapple through, 
and I'll do that with cell if I'm doing apples and it starts to back up or cucumbers you know cucumbers always tend to get so watery that they back up a couple pieces of celery or some of the herbs move some of the cucumber through the juicer here and then you're not overflowing so I'm going to move a couple more of this cilantro through here but I wanted to go heavy on the cilantro today so that uh, I could just, because this, what I'm excited about is this is a new recipe for me. And it's like after, you know, 16 or 17 years of daily juicing, it started out with carrot, apple, carrot, apple, carrot, apple, carrot, apple, carrot, apple. And then one day I added parsley. Well, I think it was ginger first. And then someone said, add some ginger, my friend. Oh, and I was like, whoa, carrot, apple, ginger, I carrot, apple, ginger. Um, well, no, this is perfect the way it is. The, the more simple, the better a lot of yeah. times. Um, but... Um, what was I saying? I was talking about something. Mm -hmm. I, anyways, I just ramble on, but there's so much to teach. That was what I was saying. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the enzymes in the uh, pineapple, that's what... I wrote an email and I explained the benefits. And one of those was the benefits of the pineapple, which is really high in enzymes. Those enzymes in the pineapple here are protein digesting type enzymes. Like uh, people in the islands, they marinate their meat in pineapple. I don't really eat meat or advocate it, but um, it digests, it pre-digests the protein. So a lot of people are dealing with uh, undigested protein in the GI tract. They're just eating more than they can digest. High protein diets are not really a good thing uh, because protein is far too stimulating. But that's a whole nother video in itself. Yeah, I'm but wondering, I'm wondering, I have a question. Do you think that the bromelain is helping to digest the proteins in your leafy greens? Maybe that could help you to, to digest them better also. Well, some of the thing about the, uh, the, um, the proteins in leafy greens is they're already so, especially when I juice them, I extract, right. break the out the amino acids right. in the greens and then they're just so easily absorbed. Protein right. in meat is very hard to right. utilize. You may utilize maybe 10, maybe 20% if you have a really good stomach acid. Yeah. But the amino acids in plant foods are so much more easily absorbable. So what makes the leafy greens sometimes hard to digest? You know how they talk about sometimes you need to eat fat to help you digest the greens, or some people get really bloated after eating greens. Yeah, well one thing, they're not chewing well enough. Chew well. Another yeah. thing is that humans are more frugivorous, and there's a difference in the uh, plant cellulose of fruit cellulose is different. Okay. than plant cellulose. Now, this cellulose here is a little bit less fibrous, but you get some kale. Kale, and it's like... You gotta chew it well. Right. You, uh, you know, you gotta think of the herbivorous animals. They have four stomachs. We only have one. Right. So you gotta be on point, either eating the most tender greens, yeah. or you have to be very, very aware when you eat things like kale, yeah. to make sure you're masticating it, masticating chew, it, chew. Chew. and juicing That's it in your I mouth. Like to juice it or blend it. I eat tender greens mm -hmm. and I juice the more fibrous ones yeah. because, you know, I'm living in this world. I just want to get the biggest bang for my buck. And if I've got a juicer here, you know, I can go eat kale for a couple hours if I want, yeah. but sometimes I don't have time to do that. If I'm in a kale garden somewhere, but yeah. if not, I'm just going to juice yeah. a f five or six kale leaves, get the minerals, get the chlorophyll, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, just juice it. That way I don't have to have those issues because the plant yeah. cellulose in the green plants is harder. So chew well. Every meal should be a prayer. This is really This good. is what I was this telling is you. such a good reminder. Like Dan and I were having the best conversation last night talking about how to digest our food to the best of our ability and he was really talking about making it a prayer and sitting down and breathing not necessarily going out to dinner somewhere where it's noisy mm -hmm. and people are talking no. <laughs> it's just to sit well actually not to do that but to sit and and enjoy and breathe and peaceful you were talking about in, the silence. in silence in silence like you you say a prayer and mm -hmm. before a lot that's very common somewhat less common these days but most of the times people would pray 
And there was a reason for that, because yes. that would raise the frequency, and that would also bring the awareness to what was happening. This is a gift mm -hmm. from nature and God to, you know, to nourish yourself. Sure, if you were growing, like we just have greens from my front garden, and if you were growing them yourself, and you pulled that one piece of kale, that would be really precious to you. You would feel really good about it because you planted it. So we have to think along those lines. Right? Prayer brings awareness to the meal, and when awareness is there, and you look down at your cheeseburger at McDonald's, you, if you have the habit of, <laughs> if you have, the, even said that. if you have the habit of praying before your meals, yeah. and you go to McDonald's and say, "Dear Lord, thank you for the nourishment in this food," you might look down at your burger and say, "Well, wait a minute, there is no nourishment in this food. This is a <laughs> plugger." We too see the nourishment. And so, which are from our garden. So that awareness, like even the, the awareness of really taking your time to chew these juices, to know what this is about. This is about detoxifying your blood, and neutralizing heavy metals. I had a consultation with a lady this morning. She inspired me. She's going to do it. I said, get a juicer and get the pain out of your body. Juices like this with these alkalinizing minerals, you know, you eat too much meat, you eat too much bread, the body... It just stores all these acids in your joints, in your back, in your kidneys, in your hips, in your knees, in your digestive organs. And then I'm getting ready. you've got some serious issues with acidosis, inflammation, congestion, and then your body stops functioning, you shut down, and you get what the doctors call a disease, and they give it a name. But it's just inflammation. It's mucus. It's mm -hmm. um, metabolic waste products that have that have a, you've allowed to build up in your body through a lack of awareness and a reverence for the law of life. Simple, clean, nourishing foods, nutrient density is my focus. Yeah. This is very much nourishment. When we make right. this juice, we're going to be nourished, nutrified, and then we can go out and play in the sun. Yeah. And Yay, chlorophyll so, and medicine and the yeah. release of the heavy metals that are, I'm driving in traffic and I'm thinking, I need a recipe because I'm drinking grapefruit juice and I'm drinking coconuts, but I'm thinking I need something green yeah. to neutralize. And then I go to the store and all this, then this new recipe came about, which will be a constant part of my thing because I was saying about the pineapple, digesting the undigested proteins in the GI tract. Yeah. Uh, allowing for more absorbability of nutrients. Yeah. And then also the enzymes are going to seep through the GI tract in into the blood. And people have undigested proteins, undigested blood, fats, undigested sugars, and then you've got parasites, worms, fungus, candida. We want to clean all that. You got this it. It's like a bath, like a shower. For the internal organs. Yes. Amen. Amen. Fresh and clean is what you want to be in this world because this body is your temple and once it's out, it's out. So let me show you the coconut. Okay, I'm stepping away for this. <laughs> be careful. Well, I'm going to show them the safe way. Okay. I cut along. I got a good cleaver here and I just wanted to uh, show them a couple of different versions. Here's the real safe. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the real safe version. Now you can use a lot of people. Uh, How the, much should they spend on a cleaver? I go to the Asian store and this is about $10. Okay. I have a collection of these. I try different ones. This is one of my favorites. They last a while. You're banging on these coconuts. A few months later, the edges are gone. Right. You can take them to the sharpener, but okay. you know, 10 bucks. And I eat so many coconuts that I just have four or five of these at the house. I take one with me when I travel. So I've got this here now. Let me show you. I cut the top off and a bread knife is fine. <laughs> This is real. It's real. It's raw. This is real and raw. So let me so let me show you. Then you can safely you can step back. You don't even have your hand involved, mm -hmm. Dara. Yes. And you just wow. And you come over here, and then you do one more, and that's one method. And then what I'm going to do is um, excuse me. I'll get it. Okay, just take that. I don't want to get anything on your floor. Okay but I do want to strain this. I always strain, you I need the strainer. strainer. Yeah, I, I always strain the coconut water because you don't want there to be any wood chips in there. So you're getting the full on uh, education here today and I really appreciate the opportunity to do so because so many lives can be changed. If people knew about this, yeah. This lady this morning was stoked. She just found my videos a week ago. Dan's videos are so amazing. They're so I inspiring. I really do live you're this. You're inspiring. You're Dude. inspiring. I, you are. I live it like a yeah. freak, like crazy. Like, 
Like a good kind of freedom. Like, yeah, but that's what I meant. You know, like in my <laughs> yeah. terminology, that's what it is. It's like, I'm just in it to win it. And, and this isn't just about, oh, I'm healthy. I mean, I am healthy. I am clean, strong, healthy. But this is about blossoming on every level. Like the heart just waking up and the mind becoming still. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah. bringing your mind and being. And these foods that are yeah. simple, that are simple and pure. Right. Two or three things in the blood. Right. The blood goes to the mind. The mind is fed with some glucose. Yeah. The body is cleansed with the herbs. <sighs> the fruit energizes and purifies and yeah. adds color to your energy. Yeah. And, but there's not too much. So much... Uh, cooked food and recipes and fancy gourmet and then, you know, polidine and all this stuff. And then you're like sick. Polidine. Well, you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, just it's, it's cool. Yeah. Like it's hip. All this like, oh, this cookbooks and stuff. But where are you going to end up? You can't end up nowhere else but sick and overweight because your lymphatic system can't handle it. Yeah, well, your GI well, tract can't well, handle it. We'll be colorful for you over here. We don't need to watch the, you know, all of that stuff. You want to consider the countenance of the person you're listening to and following. And I'm telling you, up close and personal, Dan's skin is like, it's almost like otherworldly, like how evolved you've gotten on, on this path. Like I could see the improvement. I can actually see mm. the hard work you've done. Thank and you. he lives it. That's why we had so much fun that time, because I wanted to hang out with somebody who was really living this lifestyle. Like a guy who really wakes up and he exercises, goes for a bike ride, has the juice, and is so mindful about what he puts into his body. And it really and truly shows. It shows in his abs. It shows in his physique. It shows in his strength. It shows in his thought process. Um, so I'm, I'm inspired once again. I'm really glad this happened, and I'm really glad to share them with you guys. Post- a rare breed, eh? Totally. I've got some friends that are <laughs> a very rare like breed. me, and they inspire me. Mm-hmm. And we inspire each other mm-hmm. because we have, that, we have that blossoming effect of yeah. we know there's more to allow ourselves to become. Yes. And we, we chase it down yeah. by turning our back on it and making it chase us. We make the light chase us down because it wants to use us. For its purpose, it's you know. Like, yeah, it's extreme sport wellness we have over here. <laughs> yeah, because the, the potential is so much. Like, I was going to ask you, we're not what? in any hurry, are we? No. Okay, no, good. not at all. We're like hanging out. I just want to, better. I want everyone to know that I honor their time. And I know it's very valuable. So sometimes I try to hurry. Well, I when, can leave that no, mode. No, because we, yeah, we like the countenance mm-hmm. as if you're sitting here with us. So if we are editing out and cutting it down, then you don't get that same like hanging out with us feeling. And I prefer that. And most people prefer it. Good. The people who want the, the short time. videos can watch it in segments because sometimes you don't have the time. But sometimes it's just nice to have that relaxed feel. To just see what comes up. I've found that most people don't know the details of cutting a coconut again okay. in a different I'm way. Sh- I get or no, I love yeah. having you in. No, no, I, I don't need to be on that side. This is the this is the more dangerous way. I've cut thousands of these like this, but you know, if you really take the edge, and you just go right there. There's a new Coco Jack thing. The real people, the old schoolers, do this. And this is, um, Hockey, you know, like I said, artists. I. I'm not going to have any issues myself. I've never have. It's pretty easy for me, but you may want to avoid that and go with the original. And then I'm just going to, I always strain the coconuts, like I said, Mm -hmm. and uh, just to keep the little wood chips out with a fine strainer. You know, this is pretty fine. I have a really fine one. And I get, uh, I make sure that there's no, um, that there's no uh, issues. I'm going to drain this out here to get all this awesomeness out of the cilantro juice. And those two bundles of cilantro, that's a little mm. more cilantro than most people consume in a day. But man, I'm telling you, when you're living in this world, you can use that towel. when you're living in this world, it's just time to get on the greens. I yeah. use fruits. I love fruits. Fruits yeah. are food. Fruits are medicine as dissolvers. Mm. That's the beauty of this. You've got the yeah. dissolving properties of the pineapple with the enzymes and the fruit yeah. acids. The fruit acids yeah. sounds counterintuitive, but they dissolve People eat, you know, cheese and bread, and it seems normal. They're doing it to dissolve mucus but it's, probably, too, and just clean up and tonify. That's and, right, especially citrus. And for skin, right? Grapes. Yeah. So you use the fruits. But, man, in this day and age, I'm using the organic herbs yeah. to, uh, 
to just crush it, to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Because I don't like my armpits to stink. I always smell really good. It's um, important no, to me. you can fix that. Yeah, you don't have to smell. You don't have to have any body odor. You have to anywhere. have a, well, what I usually show, you I wanted to show glass? them. Oh, okay. Well, what I real my thing, this is a serving for me. This is a serving okay. of medicine. You can have a glass. I'll do the DTM, like green glass. 32 ounce, or this is a serving for me. Yeah. And that's a meal. I mean, sometimes I'll even drink two juices. It seems like a lot, but it's like yeah. you can either pay now for your organic fruits and vegetables or you'll be paying the doctor to drug you up and cut you up. And you won't get healthy from cuts no, and, and you poisons. No, and you won't get healthy from, they give you one medicine to fix something, but that hurts another something. And then that hurts another, the medicine they give you for that organ hurts the other organ. So then you're just on that path and getting well from that is a big chore. So we want to drink this and avoid that. Well, that's the revolving door. That's the, the medical merry-go-round. Yes. And you, you, you won't get out of it until you stop and you get on this uplifting yeah. program that then you go find somebody to help you get off all the drugs and you yeah. wash out the inflammation and you sure hydrate, you alkalize and detoxify. I said that because your eyes are unbelievably clear. <coughs> look, look, like if you could look and see what I see so up close, you'd be amazed. It's amazing. Thank you, Dara. You're welcome. Yeah, I feel the presence strongly today and yeah. in my life because I... I pray to it and I ask it for help every day to help me be the best so that I can just be of service here to you. That's it. Uh, you know, just take this, take what I'm crazy about for all these years and just make something out of it. Drink juice, eat fruits and vegetables, clean right. out your body, pray, meditate, serve, love, give, and change the world by changing yourself. Yeah, and you can totally get, we can take a toast, but I say, <sighs> because I'm dying to try it, I'm living to try me it. Me too. It is so good. It's like crazy good. So the good news is you can tune into Dan all the time to get inspiration. Like he's showing up consistently and regularly and with a lot of love. So you can see that it exists around the clock. Isn't it? It's gorgeous. This is a great new recipe. Thank you so much. It really opens mm. up your heart. The greens, remember, open up the heart. I mean, that one really just totally opened up my whole heart center area. And uh, I'm feeling much more well just from that little tiny drink. I think I'm going to pull out my juicer to make this. Because this is, no, I can't. Okay, yeah, this is worth it, you guys. This is really, really delicious. I love it. Well, thanks for letting me spend time Anytime. with uh, with your with your friends. I they're, really they're appreciate it. They're our family. It. They're totally your extended family. They're part of us because every single one. Um, when I met them at the Raw Living Expo, at the Longevity Now, like hugs. Uh, this yeah. woman, Irina, lifted me off the ground with a hug. <laughs> it was awesome. So we're all family members. Yeah, there's yeah. people that couldn't walk. Yeah. And now they, they go on green juices for a few weeks and they're dancing. Isn't that awesome? So it's a miracle. Sometimes I forget because I do this every day and I'm working at like deeper levels of yeah. purification. I forget that there's a world full of people that are just like hobbling around yeah. and in pain and broken and depressed and they're not feeding their minds and the dirtier this is, the harder this is. Yeah. So you clean this up, this gets a little clearer and the journey... It's not just a few weeks on juice, but it's a lifetime right. of evolution right. and, and potential. That's what keeps you young. Is I know what they're thinking about. What are they thinking? They're thinking about Herbie, my dad, who you met briefly. Yeah. And He's I cool. think we're going to pour him a little glass, and it's going to just open him up even more. You're going to just love what he's up to. So we're going to bring some to Herbie. We love you guys. For sure. Get your greens on. Bam. It's I all about it's that. It's all about love. I'm so grateful that Dan the man showed up here today in our kitchen. And uh, look on his channel for me because we're going to do a video next over there. And that is um, life-regenerator.com. Yeah. Just thought I'd let you know that. Maybe we'll put a link down of below. Of course we will. Of course, of we, course will. we will. Thank you. I just <laughs> love sharing this stuff. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you're empowered and inspired yes. and that your life is forever changed from this awesomeness that comes through and gets shared here. Yes, the energy is transmitting right now. I can feel it. So we love you and we'll see you soon. Peace be with you. <laughs>